morning. More than anything, I'm glad that I'm saved. I'm on way to heaven. If you have your Bibles with you this morning, I'd like for you to turn with me to the book of Jeremiah. <coughs> the 17th chapter. Here am I, the 17th chapter, and I'll start at the 7th verse. And seven. The Bible said, Blessed is the man that trusteth in the Lord, and whose hope the Lord is. For he shall be as a tree planted by the waters, and that spreadeth out her roots by the river, and shall not see when he cometh. But her leaf shall be green, and shall not be careful in the year of drought, neither shall cease from yielding fruit. The Bible says, The heart is deceitful above all things. And desperately wicked, who can know it? God said, I, the Lord, search the heart. I try the reins, even to give every man according to his ways and according to the fruit of his doing. As I read that, thought about it, and began to think on our heart and Bible teaches me that it's deceitful above all things. As I begin to think on that, God began to give me a thought this morning. Those of you who want to read along with me, you go over into the next chapter. You can read, God told Jeremiah to do something. Bible teaches me that he told him to arise and go down to the potter's house. Why, and there I will cause thee to hear my words. Jeremiah did what God told him to. Uh, uh, he went down to the potter's house, uh, and the Bible says, Behold, he wrought a work uh, on the wheels, uh, and the vessel uh, that he made of clay, uh, it was marred in the hand of the potter. Uh, I look out at the world today, there is a lot of marred people today, uh, uh, but the Bible says that the clay, it was marred in the hand of the potter. Uh, uh, so you know what he did. Uh, uh, the Bible the Bible teaches me that he made it again, uh, another vessel, uh, as seemed good to the potter to make it. Uh, uh, listen, friend, uh, uh, there's a lot of more people today in our world. Uh, uh, you might be in this church house this morning, uh, and you might be marred. Uh, uh, listen, friend, uh, I want to refer to you just for a minute. I want to refer to you as clay. Uh, uh, listen, you might be here today, uh, and you might be marred. Uh, uh, you might be scarred. Uh, there might be something uh, that's keeping you from being what you need to be. But friend, I'm here to tell you today, if you're in this church house, uh, uh, you've came to the potter's house. Uh, uh, you've came to God's house. Uh, uh, you've came uh, and, uh, You've came to this house. Uh, and you need to let the potter take a hold of you uh, and make a new vessel out of you. Uh, uh, listen, friend, I don't know your situation. Uh, I don't know your heart. Uh, I don't know how you stand with the Lord. Uh, uh, but if you're here today and you don't know Jesus, uh, I'm here to tell you you've come to the right place. Uh, uh, you've come uh, today to the right place. Uh, if you're here and you don't know Jesus, uh, uh, you can get to know him before you leave here today. You say, preacher, what do I got to do? Uh, uh, you got to come to him with a broken heart uh, and a contrite spirit. Uh, uh, the Bible says, blessed is the man that trusteth in the Lord uh, and whose hope the Lord is. Uh, is the Lord your hope today? Uh, uh, have you put your trust in him? Uh, are you looking to 
him. I delete you and God you in your life today. Or friend, are you like that clay? Are you marred? Has the world marred you today? Have you got out in things you shouldn't have done? Are you a marred vessel today? I'm here to tell you today, friend, no matter how marred you may be, and no matter how broken you are, and no matter what's wrong with you, Jesus can fix it. Amen. The potter can take care of you. Amen. Did you notice that he didn't just give up on it? He didn't just turn his back on it. He didn't just say, well, I quit. It's marred. I need to give up on it. There ain't nothing I can do. Listen, the Bible don't teach me that. The Bible teaches me, yes, that clay, it was marred. But you know what he did? He just made it again. Listen, friend, I don't care what you've done in your life. I don't care how ugly your sins are. God can take your sins and wash them clean in the blood of Jesus. Amen. <coughs> you say, preacher, what do I need to do? You need to come to him with a broken heart and a contrite spirit. Accept Jesus into your life. God loves you today. He does. Bible teaches me, for God so loved the world uh, uh, that he sent his only begotten son. Now, uh, the Bible don't say that he just loved the world, uh, uh, but he so loved the world. Uh, uh, God so loves you. Uh, if you're here today and you're lost, uh, uh, God loves you today. Uh, and he wants to save you. Uh, uh, he wants to lead you and guide you in your life. Uh, uh, but you have to be willing to let God take over. You have to be willing to let God make another vessel out of you. He'll make all things new. He'll make a new creature out of you. You won't do the things you once done. A lot of people today, they say, well, preacher, I would join the church, but I just don't think that I can live that way. I want to tell you something, friend. They're partly right. If you try to live it on your own self, you won't ever be able to do it. You can't clean yourself up. You can't get yourself good enough. But if you surrender all your heart, all your soul over to Jesus, you'll be able to do it, friend. God loves you today. Come down to the potter's house. Come to the potter's house today. Whether you realize it or not, you came to hear his word. God, you're, so you're not just here by accident today. You're not just here by coincidence. God has a reason for each and every one of us being in here today. And if you're here and you're lost, he wants to save you today. It's up to you, friend. Amen. Salvation is a free gift. It's a free gift from God. But you have to be willing to accept Jesus into your heart. By grace are you saved. Through faith, it's not of yourselves. But it's the gift of God, not of works. Uh, uh, lest any man should boast. Uh, uh, listen, God loves you uh, uh, more than you could ever understand uh, or ever comprehend. Uh, I can't fully understand or comprehend how much he loves me, but I'm just glad that he does. Amen. Came to the potter's house. You might be here today and you might be saved. But you might need to go back to the potter's house. Yeah. He might need to work on you for just a little bit. Uh, uh, you might have a few things in your life that you've let get in there that you don't need. Uh, uh, God wants to take care of it for you. Uh, uh, listen, I'm glad that I serve a God. Uh, uh, when he saved me, he didn't just give up on me or put me on the shelf. Uh, uh, but I'm glad when he saved me. Uh, and sometimes I get uh, sometimes if I was to get in a place I don't need to be, uh, I'm glad that he'll just put me back home will uh, and he'll work it out for me. Uh, uh, he never gives up on his children. Uh, uh, listen, he said, I'll never leave you. Uh, I'll never forsake you, but I will go all the way with you, even unto the end of the world. Amen. I don't know your heart today. I don't know how you stand with the Lord. We all might be Christians, and I hope that we are, but if you're here today and you're lost, I want to urge you to get to know this man called Jesus. Amen. Here in just a few minutes, we're going to give an invitation. I'm not inviting you to join the Wheelwright Free Will Baptist Church. I'm not inviting you to 
I'm not inviting you to do anything like that. The only thing that I'm inviting you to do uh, is to come and kneel and talk to Jesus. Uh, you see, friend, I could come back there. I could grab you by the hand. I, I could drag you up here. I, I can make a big show out of it. I, I listen, friend. Uh, uh, but if you don't pray with your own heart, uh, if you don't seek God with your own heart, it won't do you any good. Uh, uh, but listen, friend. Uh, when you set up that godly sorrow, deep down in your heart huh? and you get sorry that you've sinned against God huh? and you begin to repent huh? and cry out to him huh? I believe friend that you'll hear from heaven huh? I believe that he'll no wise cast you out Amen. I don't know your hearts today but you've came to the potter's house you've heard the song you've heard his word what are you going to do about it friend do you have a problem in your life? Do you have a need in your life? Do you got something that God needs to take care of? Do you got something that the Lord needs to work out in your life? Uh, if you're lost today, you have something God needs to take care of. Uh, you have sin in your heart. Uh, you have sin in your life. Uh, uh, listen, friend, if you don't know Jesus today, uh, uh, you're dead in your sins uh, and you're dead in your trespasses and you need to be made alive in Christ. Get ready to come to a close. I don't know. Maybe today we can stand and get a song. Maybe not a very lengthy message, but I can only give you what God gives you. <coughs>